Top Billing, billing. Uptown Murph. Top Billing, billing. Yo, top billing. Make sure you're liking the content. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. And most importantly, make sure you're sharing the content. Let's go. One of the cats I wanted to pay attention to the most this summer is your man, Kobe Bryant. This cat right here. I know y'all remember this once he was switched to safety. And y'all know that's near and dear to my heart. And when I can see somebody move like this and then bang. Oh my goodness. I was like, oh yeah, they may have found something in Kobe Bryant. Look at this. Bang! Oh my God. That was lewd and lascivious. <laughs> what are we doing here, man? One of them stool softener hits, right? Like a phase two Ducolax hit. Right, or they have to boil that man's draws, right? Jalen Rager, they have to boil Jalen Rager's draws. Look at his head on the outside, right? He probably could have lowered or changed his elevation a little bit to make sure he struck all torso there. But hey, it's preseason, you're working out the kinks, and now Jalen Rager is too because he was sent to Zombie Town. Won't you send me to Zombie Town? Won't you send me to? Zombie town. I mean, think about it. You have a guy who's more of a natural outside corner, being as that he did that in college and came away as a Thorpe Award winner. You would think that having a guy like this with being able to have him posted up, right? Closing off the middle of the field, riding the stitches, and then being able to deliver bone crushing, soul drawing hits like that. Right, you saw the you saw the thing come out right like you thought it was a penalty flag and everything. Right, that wasn't a penalty flag. That was that man's soul being thrown by the referee. <laughs> Where is it right there? The referee had to throw his so his soul flew to the referee and the referee threw it back like hot potatoes. What are we doing here, man? That's an incredible skill set from somebody who had to learn on the fly the nickel position last season. Right, so unlike last season where it seemed to be a ton of man on skill for the nickel position. Uh, there was a lot, it was deployed differently when your man Witherspoon was doing it, right? He was blitzing a lot. He played a ton of zone, whereas Kobe Bryant felt like he was playing, eh, it was like 90% man coverage. So to me, once again, this has to be rich people problems because obviously you have your man Rayshon Jenkins in the fold, right? More of a natural, strong safety, somebody you can have floating, right? traversing doing all the damn thing right sending some serious damage on shallow zone right being able to blitz as well uh he can show or he has shown that he has a little bit of range yeah right that's a great addition there julian love like i said last year before this time before i had that dumbass up there was trying to say that he was a bust after two games the man ends up making the pro bowl and doing the damn thing, Sean, he has some severe range, right? He was able to be coming in, right, and made someone like Quandre Diggs expendable. You know what I'm saying? That's my dude right there. I think the world of Quandre Diggs, and you couldn't justify having Quandre Diggs back with the Julian Love because Julian Love can do all the shit Con Quandre Diggs can do. And obviously, he's going to be a little bit better of a cover guy being a former corner himself, outside corner in college. Uh, a little bit of a nickel defender with the New York Giants playing outside as well. So, man, what do you do with that? You have, of course, Jared Reed as well as a young cat, and then Kobe Bryant. So to think about Kobe Bryant perhaps being on a roster bubble, definitely paying attention to this cat. Obviously, I want a little bit of clarification as to what your man Kobe Bryant would be. And, uh, yeah, this is pretty damn ambiguous cornerback slash safety right that's his true designation from the new staff now i'm looking here and i don't see anybody else with a dual designation do you yeah <laughs> that's not hard <laughs> that's not hard at all right <laughs> they might as well have just put him as db Right, putting him at cornerback and safety. Eventually, you have to do one or the other because there's other guys on the roster who are going to start at those spots. You moonlight in between spots uh, makes you a utility player, if anything, there. So I'm not 
extremely confident about Kobe Bryant standing um, until you can really get out there and see exactly where they're fitting him in now, right? So maybe he just uh, is the designated hitter coming in between, right? If there's an injury or something like that, he could play cornerback, right? Whether it be inside or out, or he could be at safety. But we've already seen him do that before. I want to see this man get some time, right? Or if not, cut him loose. I'm pretty sure he's valuable to any team out there, right? Because he has that type of skill set. Somebody, I was thinking that Coach McDonald would see this guy and be like, oh, yeah, this is exactly uh, what I like. I mean, the guy is six foot one, nearly 200 pounds, like I said before, with a natural corner skill set, but is clearly physical enough to play the safety position. And he looks like he could play both spots at that. I mean, he was coming up in preseason with no hesitation. There's no pull up, right? When some people just inherently have a pull-up to their game, meaning when they're approaching traffic and they're about to lower elevation to tackle, they may hesitate a little bit. It's only natural, right? Uh, Regardless of what people say out there, right, who's never played the game, it's a physical game. It is one that you have to build up a pain tolerance to, right? Tackling hurts both people. So there are some people who have a fear of that. You can see that out there on the field. He has zero fear. He's throwing his body around, and this is from a guy who played cornerback in college. So keep in mind Kobe Bryant, right? Continuing to wake people up. Don't forget about your man Kobe Bryant. Don't forget about your man Mike Morris. And, of course, this next cat that I'll talk about right when I come back through. uh, Y'all should know who I'm talking about. Definitely don't forget about that cat there. But let me know what you think about Kobe Bryant. Is he going to make the team in your estimation? Should he make the team more likely in your estimation? Because we don't know what these dudes will do. You know what I'm saying? We don't have any insider information. None of us work for the team. I'm going to keep hammering that home as long as I continue to be in this business, right? Where we have 10, 11 years or something like that that I've been in this business, I'm going to continue to hammer that point home. Nobody works for the organization that are on the internet in this capacity, right? Whether it be content creators or whether it be fans, right? Especially fans, but you get what I'm saying now, right? So as always, it's your boy, the underground king, serving that hibachi. Make sure you tip your waiter. Make sure you hit that thanks button. And uh, much love to everybody out there who watches this all across the West Coast and all across the United States as well, man. I had to keep hammering that home as well. People watching this content, right, this specific content is not just in the city of Seattle or not just in the state of Washington, all right? And we have some really cool stuff coming in the future, too, I think you guys will like. So keep that in mind for all you people who are always talking about apparel. Murph, when can I get this hoodie? When can I get this shirt? Mm, Might want to stay tuned, all right? Salute. What more can I say? Top billing. Top billing.